Greetings, my name is Mike and welcome to the video. In this one, I quickly wanted to show how you can easily set up the navigation components with a bottom nav view and it's actually really straightforward. But first of all, if you're not familiar with the navigation component at all, I suggest checking out my previous video where I basically did sort of a, a walkthrough of how to implement it. Also, I'll put a link below to the official documentation and to my GitHub page, which has all this code you're about to see. So let's take a look at the demo app that I've got here. So I've got a pretty simple activity with a, a fragment here and then bottom nav here. And when you click on the bottom nav stuff, obviously it just changes the above fragment. So pretty straightforward, but I want to show you how we can change this to use the, the navigation component to make life a bit easier. Let's take a look at the code now. So it starts off with a XML menu, which is how you set up a bottom nav view. We have an item here for each of our three items in the bottom nav view with an ID, an icon and a title. Pretty straightforward and this is normally how you set up a bottom nav view. Then in our activities layout, we have a frame layout, which we use to swap out the fragments. And then we have a bottom nav view, obviously at the bottom, which points to the menu file that we saw just now. And finally in the activities code, this is kind of where it gets a bit ugly because we have to add a navigation item selected listener, like when we click an item at the bottom, we have to manually go and swap out the fragment, which kind of sucks. As you can see here, we have like a, a switch statement. When this item is clicked, then we create this fragment and then we load the fragment by getting the support manager and doing normal fragment transactions, which is stuff we all want to avoid these days. And then finally, when the activity is created, we have to say what item do we want to select by default because otherwise it won't show any fragment, which kind of sucks. So let's see how we can change this to use the navigation component and make our life a little bit easier. First of all, I'm going to go and add the dependencies. Of course, that's how it normally starts, right? So I'm just going to go and paste some stuff in here that I, I've explained how all of these work in my previous video, but basically there's four different sets here that you add depending on your project structure. Since I've got Android X with Kotlin support in this project, these are the ones I'm going to be using, but take your pick here based on your project. Then I'm going to go ahead and sync just so we can be happy in Android Studio. When that's done, I'm going to right click resource directory, go to new Android resource file. I'm going to call it bottom nav view and then resource type is navigation. We're going to go ahead and create a navigation graph for our bottom nav view. Um, inside here, we're going to go ahead and add all of our three destination fragments that we can select from the bottom nav view. First, second, third, just go ahead and arrange it nicely. And then that's literally all we need to do to set up the nav graph. We don't set up any actions between them or anything like that. You just add the fragments as destinations. And then one thing I'm going to quickly do here is change all of the IDs because the ID is already used by the menu file. So I'm just going to go ahead and change them to be first bottom nav fragment and so on. And then our start destination we can choose. In this case, it's going to be the first bottom nav fragment. Pretty straightforward there. In the menu, I just want to make one small, but I think critical change. Now here, where we set the ID, we're not creating a new ID anymore, right? That's what the plus symbol means. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the plus symbol. And that basically means we're not creating a new ID anymore with this name, but we're going to reuse the one that was defined in the nav graph. So if I control click on this one, it'll take me to my fragment destination here. That's basically how we set it up. We have to have the same ID in the nav graph correspond to the menu and that's how it knows what fragment to load when you click on the bottom nav stuff. Next in the activities layout, I'm going to go ahead and remove this frame layout and I'm going to use our um, nav host fragment as we saw in the previous video. So I'm just going to go ahead and set that up quickly. Nice little trick to make it take up the remaining space. I'm going to set the name to nav host fragment autocomplete. I'm going to set app default nav host to true. Again, in my previous video, I explained what all this stuff is. So just check that out if, you, if you're worried about that. And I'm going to point it to our, to the navigation file that we just created here. And then I'm going to give it an ID up here just so that it's happy. Nav host fragment. Cool. That's all that we need to do for our activities layout. And then in the activities code is where it starts getting a bit interesting. Over here we can say bottom nav view dot setup with nav controller, find nav controller, nav host fragment. I'll just go ahead and make that a variable so it's a bit easier. 
and that's basically all we need to do to set it up i can go and actually delete all of this other lovely code so that all we have left is to say please set up with this nav controller and then magic happens just a note though if you're not using kotlin android extensions it'll be a bit different you'll say navigation ui dot setup with nav controller you'll give it the bottom nav view and you'll give it the nav controller cool so you'll do it like that if you're not using android extensions but since i am i'm going to do that and we can just leave that commented out that's basically all we need to do to set it up with uh, bottom nav view so let's build it and hopefully we have some luck and that it just works the first time here we go cool and it seems to have started up properly if i change between the fragments you'll see it works as expected and a nice little added bonus is that it applies a default um, transition here so as you see when i change stuff actually kind of fades in and out which i think is pretty neat so that's actually all there is for this i uh, i did mention that it's quite a quick a quick thing to set up but i do actually like it a lot because it allows us to remove a lot of boilerplate code from the activity we can just say please work with this bottom nav view and then stuff happens and that's pretty awesome so that's all <laughs> hope you enjoyed and i hope that you've learned something from this thanks for watching and cheers for now